everybody in here, sitting here in the tiny house, having my coffee with all of you. It's a sunny day, but it is freezing cold outside. I got a nice fire going in the wood-burning stove. In a minute here, I'm going to make some breakfast. And, well, just the usual stuff. Check the chickens. Um, I found some mushrooms, and I didn't show you in yesterday's video, but I'm going to show you today. And it's important because... Um, these look like edible mushrooms, but they weren't. So, learning experience. Anyhow, don't know what else I'm going to get into today. Just got to get my coffee in me, get my breakfast in me, and then just see what happens. <laughs> I was just watching Learn Your Land, and I can't even remember the name of the mushrooms. I'll put the name up in a little bit. I'm not sure if these are them, but I'm going to harvest at least a couple and see if that's what they are. All right, let's be careful here. I want to try and get... Oh, dang. Hold on. I don't know if this is the one he was talking about, but because the ones he was describing look like they had white gills. The thing about this is it meets all other aspects of it. It's velvety. It's got the same stem that looks pretty much the same. It doesn't have a veil of any kind. So I don't know. Oh, I hope this is what it is. These mushrooms are all over this dead tree, all over the place. Look at that. Look at those are some big ones. I'm going to pick one of those and see what it looks like underneath. I am bummed. Uh, these are, this is a veiled mushroom. I just couldn't see it on the other ones. I'll put a little pointer to where the veil remnant is so you can see it. This is not an edible mushroom. This may be the Gallerina mushroom, the deadly Gallerina mushroom, I'm not sure. Uh, but no, they're not edible. This is the one that I picked from underneath it there. No, Papa, come on, ah, ah, ah. No, don't eat that. Pretty cool though. Look at these beautiful babies taking a little nap right next to each other. Oh, shoot. I wish I would not have woken them up. Hi, Papa. <laughs> you just want some love, don't you? So does Judy. Judy wants some love, too. Oh, yes, she does. You're a good boy. You're the best. Okay, chicken. So sorry it's taken me so long. Come on out. Get your nummies. I got Cheerios. Leftover Cheerios and some Grubterra black soldier fly larva grubs that they love. See, they're they're totally ignoring, they're ignoring the oats and they are going for the grubs. <laughs> That's right. Okay, let's see what kind of eggs I got. Here we go. What? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I got an egg out of each of my chicken's pets today. Look at that. Look at the brown ones are catching up in size. Oh my goodness, you guys. I am so, so happy. All chickens laid an egg today. I brought them out in the sun so you can see the variation in the brown egg color. That's the darkest, next darkest, and lighter. I don't know. I'm wondering if that one is from the Bard Rock Roxy. But yes, look at those big leghorn eggs. Oh my gosh. Six eggs in one day. What am I going to do with all these eggs? Hi, Papa. What's up? Since I already know for sure I'm not going to get any more eggs out of any of these chickens today, I'm going to go ahead and just let them out. I usually leave them in here till about one, but not today. You guys did great. All right, be nice, Papa. Be nice. Come on. Come on out, chickens. See there? He doesn't do a thing. Look at him. Come on, girls. You know how to get out of the coop. Goodness gracious. What, you want to stay in? That's fine with me. You go, what are you doing, Roxy? There's no way I'm getting another egg. There's no way. There we go. Now we just need Romeo out here. Yep, he's going to come. Come on, run, run, run. Run, 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 run. <laughs> look at, look at the, in the sunshine. Can you see all the beautiful coloring in their feathers? Oh my goodness. They're just beautiful. Now I think it's time for me to play with my new chainsaw. I decided to see if I could finish off this tree that had fallen down and I've got my mini chainsaw with me. I did not bring 
my tripod so I'm just gonna give this a try and show you the results. Well, apparently this little chainsaw can saw logs this big. Now you guys may ask me, why did you cut them so small? I cut them so small because I wanted them that way. But look at this, look. Yeah, that first one I didn't do exactly right. Look at that clean cut. This is still pretty green, but these are some decent sized logs and it's going right through it. So I'm gonna save the rest until the time that I have like a, a tripod out here so that you can see how it does in action. It is just quite a little chainsaw. That's what it says on the outside. Can you see that? And that's it. There's really, it says F period easy period D special battery electric chainsaw 24 volt. It works great. There's my wood haul for the day. I got all that. Well, that was cut up earlier. I did cut up all this. All of these pieces right there, they're not in the sun. I don't know if you can see them very well. Broke up a bunch that are this size and the chainsaw held up really nicely, but you can see that it's a little bit loose. So I know how to tighten it up now. I'm just gonna tighten it up and charge it up and get it ready for the next time. Well, hello there. Roxy came up to sit right by me. <laughs> You're a sweet baby. I just gotta capture this, you guys. This is a first. I don't know if it'll ever happen again. Both of the puppies are just relaxing. Judy's out there in the sun. Huh, of course, she gets up as soon as I start talking to her. But they're just relaxing. Chilling out. She's gonna start causing some trouble now. Yes, she will. Yep. She's gonna try and get Papa to play with her. She found a stick. What are you doing, Judy? Huh? Yeah? Hello. Oh, you got your other toy. Where did that big black and white rope toy go? Where's it at? Go find your big rope toy. I bet you. I bet you it's over there in the stream and there's water in it right now and I bet you it's all muddy. Oh, goodness. Go for it, girlfriend. <laughs> I just hope someday she'll be able to run free, not be on a tether so that, you know, I just don't like having her tied up like that. I don't like it at all. She doesn't seem to mind it, but this guy here, he's just so chill. He's just surveying the property. You're a good girl, Judy. Yes, you are. It's been a great day today. Yeah, I still got a few things to do. I have to filter some water and bring some water in. Um, I'm gonna, I'll show you the little spigot things I got and what my plans are for that in the next video. I'm trying to decide whether or not I want to go into, you hear the puppies playing over there? Whether or not I want to go into town because what I'm doing for this poison ivy is not working. Y'all have given me some really great ideas, but in the past, the only thing that has worked aside from alcohol and calamine lotion is the Benadryl either spray or salve, just Benadryl. Um... It's not greasy. I can't put anything greasy on my skin, um, but it is, it's driving me absolutely crazy. And uh, so yeah, these puppies are having a good time. Look at that. They just run and run and run. And then sometimes I put Judy way back there by the wood pile. Um, that's where I put the little thing that you stake into the ground. Um, and then I go sit over underneath there by the rocket stove so she can get to me. We can play fetch and whatnot, but they love just running around. So yeah, they're getting along great. Anyhow, well, I gotta do, go do the water thing and then maybe by that time, I don't know, I'm thinking of going into town too. I don't think I'll bring y'all along. That would be kind of boring going with Anne's tiny life to the pharmacy. Anyhow, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and close this out now and uh, I don't know. Who knows what tomorrow will bring. Anyway, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video.
for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.